What's up everyone? Welcome back to ARTV. My name is John and today I am very excited to be reviewing the seventh studio album by the alternative band from Canada, Metric. Their new record is titled Art of Doubt and it's the first for me for something in 2018. Metric are a band that I discovered in 2009. I was watching the channel Fuse and they were playing the video for Help I'm Alive and I fell in love with the dark sonic palette of that song and also the hopeful messages despite the dark tone. I loved Emily Haynes' vocals and over time I feel like that voice has just become even more solidified in my mind. I could pick it out of a lineup very, very easily. I really got into fantasies, it's hard to believe that it's been almost a decade since that released in 2009, and then 2012 Synthetica. I fell off a bit in 2015 when Pagans in Vegas came out. It's an album that saw them going for a little bit more of a pop foray, and while I did like the single The Shade for the most part, I just found that album utterly boring. Things quickly changed and my attention swung like, huh? What's that? When I heard Dress to Suppress. That song absolutely kills on every single level, and it saw them channeling the energy of like fantasies mixed with their early, more guitar-driven work, and I was absolutely floored and still am by the presence of that song. It's both lyrically potent, but also something that just feels omnipotent in the sense that every member of the band is doing so many great things. It starts off with that slow energy that reels you in with a little bit of suspense, but it finds a way to keep you just guessing the entire time, and that chorus drives home like a fucking hammer. Dark Saturday wrapped me around its finger too, with its kind of crunchy guitar driven sound that reminds me a little bit of the yeah yeah yes, and that unwavering synth that kind of buzzes and flares up throughout the background of the song, and that super sticky chorus. Needless to say, after hearing those two, I was absolutely sold on having to check out this record. I already alluded to some of the influences such as the yeah yeah yeahs that pop up on this album, but I would say the overall sound of this record is definitely an alternative rock vibe. There are synthesizers there, there's emotional weight in the lyrics, but there's also just kind of a light-hearted feeling when you're listening to it, and that tone is something that's so appreciated because yes, it can take on a heavy subject, but it can also leave the listener feeling a little bit freed in the sense that this is cathartic for us. We're going through this together, and that's a great feeling to get when listening to an album, especially one like Art of Doubt. The guitars are back in a big way here, and I have to give kudos to Metric. They dialed it up there. The bass is thick on many of these songs, and you can really just sink into it, and you can pick apart the instrumentation. You can hear a synth layer, and you can hear this, you can hear that. And as I listened to this album more and more, I was like, who produced this? I bet somebody awesome produced this. And I go look it up, and it's Justin Meldell Johnson, a favorite of mine in the production game. He produced one of my favorite albums of the 2010s, and that is Paramore's self-titled album. So with Justin Meldell Johnson on production and the band back on their A-game, Art of Doubt is a force to be reckoned with. Also, a special shout out goes to the drumming and just the flow of this record. I like how they can put you in a trance with some of the slower, more melancholic and more vibey songs like Anticipate, which builds up nicely going into No Lights on the Horizon, the closing moment. Also something like Underline the Black or even Now or Never, which has a great synth tone to it. I love how they can take all of these elements and the drums in particular can go from more fierce and furious to a little bit more laid back. It fits the mood for what's called for and it never tries to do too much, but it also gets pretty aggressive in places, and I just didn't expect this from Metric. I guess that's what I'm getting at. You know that I've already given my huge official gold seal of approval to the two singles Dark Saturday and especially Dress to Suppress, but how do I feel about the rest of the track listing? Well, things just keep going and trending upwards because the more you play this album, the more you just find that these tracks have something for every occasion. And even though this is the longest metric album to date, actually by a pretty decent chunk, it doesn't feel like it. And as these 12 songs keep flowing, you just feel like you're in a bubble, like you're blocking out the world in a way, and you're slipping into what metric have to say, what they've made. And it's not so much one of those albums where you're always honing in on the lyrics. 
I feel like it's an album that you just put on and it's just a mood. There is not a bad, slightly bad, poor in quality song on Art of Doubt. Nothing like that to be found and that's so impressive to me. It starts off on such a strong note, but it's able to continue that and it fluctuates. It definitely fluctuates in what it does and how it grips you, but it still grips you nonetheless. It opens up on the cutting Dark Saturday and then moves into the groovy as hell track Love You Back. And I just love those guitars, especially the ones that kick up and start to flare during the chorus. There's a little bit of that momentum that you start to hear as Emily Haynes sings the little pre-chorus. And then once it kicks in, those guitars that cycle all throughout are just ecstasy to my ears. And I have to air guitar along every single time. This song never loses me for a single second. Second. And then immediately after that, we get such another rush, another high, if you will, on Die Happy, where we get these choppy, delectable, dancey guitars that could be played in the 80s or now. It's something for the dance floor. It's something that has summer heat, but also an energy that's just going to continue expanding all year long. The title track, Art of Doubt, has a flamethrower energy to it, and I think it slightly reminds me of Wolf Alice, especially when Haynes screams a little bit on this song. It was very unexpected that it caught me off guard at first, but it fits so well with the overall aesthetic of this record. A dazzling spacey synth-led intro greets us warmly on the track Now or Never, which is such a powerhouse of emotion, I feel like. It almost just feels like it's on the verge of something, and not that it never gets there. We just continue on this journey, and it's just like riding down a brand new road that's just been paved, and Haynes paints it all out for us, and we're just cruising right as she's painting, if that makes any sense, a little visual representation, if you will. We get another powerhouse in the form of a closing moment, No Lights on the Horizon, where Haynes just opens up and talks about how things have been going for her and her own mental health, and it seems like there's somebody in her life that's been so kind that she opens up about, and she sings, if it wasn't for your kindness lately, I'd never get out of bed. There's somebody special there, and even though the lyrics on this record aren't always the most profound thing, I like the fact that they can go from a little bit more off the wall to very sentimental. Consider Seven Rules the soundtrack to your next night where you just want to kick back and look up at the stars featuring an amazing, very smooth, and very relaxed, chill, melodic guitar solo that's really just perfect for this tune. And then you've got Underline the Black, which I just feel once again really hits the nail on the head with exactly what it meant to do. It starts off immediately with the vibe that it wants to present, and the narrative here is so, so worthy of getting into, giving attention and praise to, because this track I feel is going to go underrated, even in the context of this record that I feel will go underrated and under people's radar in general, this song really jumped out to me. Canadian band Metric absolutely dazzle on their seventh full-length LP. This is an album that I guess I should have seen coming after loving the two singles, but before I heard those, and I was a little bit late to the singles even at that, I guess I should have seen a great album on the way, but I just didn't. And as I sat down and got more and more into it, I knew I had to give a dedicated review to you guys. I want you to check this out. There is a link to stream it down below because for me personally, this is my first perfect score of the year. Pop the champagne throw all the confetti because this album is getting a 5 out of 5. What do you guys think though? What do you think about Art of Doubt by Metric? I hope that you'll check it out if you haven't done so already, or if you have heard it, sound off in the comments section down below. Please drop a like on this video, and can you tell I'm excited? I was hoping for a 5 out of 5 this year, and it has finally struck me, so there you go. Make sure to subscribe if you're new in town, and ring that notification bell so you get notified when I upload. If you're able to support what I do on Patreon, then please click that top link in the description down below, or else the annotation in the corner. To see a couple of other albums that I have reviewed and loved this year, then please click those links right there. All of my social media can be found linked in the description down below. And other than that, it's a perfect score, and I'll see you soon for more on ARTV.